Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, uh, I put my resume on my drive. <laughs> and I started with Aid Association for Lutherans that is now known as Thrivent. Yes. <laughs> And uh, when you get that Series 6 where you're able to sell uh, life insurance, yes, <laughs> they do teach you certain things about what is legal and what is not. And <laughs> seemed to me that you thought that you could issue court orders without any protections to myself. Pooch. <laughs> As if you could have that catch-all phrase, well, mentally ill, mental treatment. <laughs> Now, I'm not crazy for understanding the actual life experience that I have. <laughs> Maybe you want to read a copy of the resume, because <laughs> when I got to Clallam County, you had already issued the protection order. Pooch. Now, you reissued it when you arrested me. I made mention of it in a recording, and I thought it was somewhat mean to arrest a person and serve them a dissolution of marriage at the same moment <laughs> as if you're really gonna teach me the lesson that you're gonna kick my fucking ass Pouch! now I'm thinking that every individual that has been a registered representative of any of the series series 7 yes 663 24 Ouch! then there's that series 3 oh, <laughs> you learn a lot about the laws and privacy and client information about how it is that when you as a court don't listen to what I have to say, you have the liability of all the personal information of every client file. Oh. Now after two million emails, you're sitting there saying, well, we're gonna enforce this protection order because he has knowledge of it. Yeah. But I know having been a uh, life insurance, yes. <laughs> having been a financial consultant and uh, then having been registered with Horowitz and Associates, yes, <laughs> and I was registered with HBW that <laughs> there are certain requirements of law. Now, as much as you wanted to say that I was delusional, yes, I had a lot of life experience about what the responsibilities are of those that are in business. <laughs> And when I asked you to get the last 40 years of all of those registered, whew, how many of them went through a divorce where they didn't get notice of court hearings because their spouse said, well, I mailed it and I don't know why you didn't get it. <laughs> and how many of them had child support obligations where you didn't protect my right to due process and our marriage certificates from the United Nations and you thought you'd just make up shit about me and no one would ever find out that you violated all these security laws. <laughs> All these future industry laws, ooch, all these insurance industry laws, ooch, because when you do not protect my right to have notice and the opportunity to be heard, <laughs> because you say you're protecting the, the alleged victim of domestic violence. Well, you violated a lot of privacy laws of the financial services industry. Yeah. I informed you that it's against the law to have court hearings without proof of service. <laughs> you said that you were going to have to protect right now. Now, it's going to be one of those days where I'm going to document these lawsuits and you're going to continue to obstruct my use <laughs> of the judicial system of the United States because you don't acknowledge any fraud. Well, it looks like a forgery to me of the ex-official Superior Court clerk. <laughs> looks like the fraudulent evidence of Exhibit A. Pouch! You can, you're going to keep covering up everything that you've been doing? Are you going to enforce the laws of the United States? Because <laughs> when you issue court orders without any protections of due process, <laughs> you violated the privacy laws of those that were my clients. Now, there's probably some insurance information that you gave to my wife. <laughs> but you issued a court order where she didn't sign it. Oh, there was no penalty of perjury. And when you as a court decided to take on the unlimited liability, yes, of the securities and insurance industry, ooch, I decided to sue this state and every state of the United motherfucking state.